Now, we've got a lot to talk about this week on the show. Yes. But before we continue with the show, remember, we've got two tickets to the big monster truck extravaganza (laughs) being held tonight at the Carson Fairgrounds featuring Big Daddy Don Bodine's truck, the Behemoth. (laughs) <laughs> on the station where the 70s survived kbi lly now before we continue with our stuff uh bunny yes you said that you wanted to bring up something uh yes i i wanted to bring up how stupid the human race really is how okay. completely just stupid we are. Gotcha. I I cannot believe that we have Nazis. We yes. have a, a baboon for a president. Yeah. We have been cut off from the rest of the world. Yeah. We are facing nuclear war. All true. And it's all so fucking stupid when there is so much more important things going on that we really need to talk about. But we don't know if we're going to live that fucking long. Yep. Yep. Okay. We are going to have artificial intelligence by 2050. Okay? With with the shit that Google is doing, it's coming. All right? It's yeah. it's just a matter of time and we may not have that time, but like that's some shit we really need to talk about and what we're going to do. I mean, Google is already spying on us all the fucking time, and we don't talk about that shit either. True. That's why I use Bing. (laughs) Bing Bing.com. They spy on you less. (laughs) That's a good commercial right there for Bing.com. Bing. The search engine of the resistance. I use Bing all the time just because I know, like, Bing's right like, do we spy on you? Do we not spy on you? There's no way you can tell. Meanwhile, Google's like, yeah, no, we spy on you all the time, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so but to yeah, have... So, Bing in the crap out of things. So to have an artificial intelligence spying on us all the time, you know... There's shit to there's shit to talk here. See, I am still in the camp yeah. where I am excited about artificial intelligence, and I think robots will eventually save humanity. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just waiting for my sex robots. I was promised sex mm-hmm. robots. I I I I forgave no jetpacks. I forgave no flying cars. Yeah. I forgave robot butlers. Yes. And I'm not talking about Jetsons. I'm specifically talking Rocky Four. <laughs> Still waiting for my 1980s robot butler. Mm-hmm. I forgave all of those things. Now, sex robot. That's what I'm waiting for next. Sex robot. Yes. Yep. Yes. Well, they are they are coming, so to speak. <laughs> Along with the, the, the robotic butlers and all of that, because we'll have the artificial intelligence to be able to do it. You know, but, but regardless if of... It last that long. Re- exactly. But yeah. regardless if I think that's a good idea or not, it's, it's, it's something that has to be discussed. Yeah. You know? But no, we're talking yeah. about fucking Nazis and shit. Like, yeah. like we're, we're talking about race issues things that all things that we should be well past well past as a society yeah you know well past all of those things and that really pisses me off i mean we're we're at a standstill as a culture you know yeah the the 
genetics, the CRISPR device is fucking insane. And we have to decide what we are really going to do about genetic engineering. Yeah. You know, and what are the limits and what's good and what's bad and things like that. I mean, we can go, we can go Gattaca, you know, where we just breed perfect people. Yeah. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, that's going to be difficult though, to have an entire planet of me's. Yeah. It's going to be hard. So that's something else that as a society, we really need to talk about these things because these things are serious. Yeah. You know, the fucking CRISPR units, you can build one for $150. And what does it do? Does it keep your lettuce crisp? It's for genetic engineering. Genetic engineering. Okay. Yes. And what does it do? Uh, gene splicing. So you could have, you can make like, and, and this is one of the proposed applications. You could make pigs with human hearts. Nice. Can we make humans with pig hearts yet? Well, I suggest, okay, here is my suggestion. Okay. We genetic, we genetically engineer pigs. Okay. Different kinds. The first kind would be pigs that stay little and cute forever. Okay. Okay. Everybody would have one of those as a pet. Everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. Then you make really pigs in space, but ugly pigs that nobody can love, and they're for eating. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes, and total bacon. Yes. I, I I would also in in a vaguely related sense I would like to take this time to say that we are we here at the Pope on Film will never be watching and discussing the Netflix original movie Okja o- Oakja or I, whatever the hell that's called I because I like meat and I want to keep it that way yeah. <laughs> just to be clear. A couple of weeks ago, Natasha was like, oh, yeah, me and Deanna were just hanging out, and we just wanted to watch something, put something on in the background. So we watched this movie called Okja, and I'm like, no! Why did you do that? You should have asked me beforehand. I could have warned you. <laughs> That's anti-meat propaganda. <laughs> and afterwards, Deanna is all, I'm never going to eat again, eat meat again. And I'm like, yes, that's what they want you to think. Mm-hmm. Never doing it. We like meat in this house. Hi, Maxwell. How you doing? You doing good? Great. Uh, why don't you leave the bedroom right now? Because, huh? Because we're going to be talking about some stuff, and I don't want you in the room for it. That's why I came in here. Just to be clear, okay? <laughs> so why don't you, Vamoose? What? <laughs> okay. Gotcha. 10-4. Why don't you go? And uh, thank you, Maxwell. Okay. And we have to take the climate seriously, and we have to take the take space exploration seriously. Yeah. You know, and we're still talking about stupid shit like race. Yeah. And who's got the bigger missile? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who is the most, who has the most insane leader? Yeah. I've got some homework for next week yeah. that coincides with that. Okay, cool. So that's good. So that's all I wanted to say about that. I just want to reiterate that last week's episode was a really fucking good episode. It was. It was a really fucking good episode. It was one of those it was one of those strange episodes where I walked away from it and I was like, well, it was a good episode, yes. But I don't think I'm going to get much cut out of it. You know? Yeah. I got so much cut out of it. So much. That's why I've been yeah. putting out two things a day. Yeah, no, there's a lot of stuff on there. 
Yeah. It's, it's, it's a heavy episode. So that was a good episode. And even with that, there were things that I like skipped, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Not that, not that it's there, but like, I didn't clip out the Michael Jackson section cause we were going to be doing it this week. Yeah. And I left the, the Funko with the Legos because they played in yes. rights into each other. So, you know, those were two more things that could have been cut out. But I was kind of like, this is getting to be enough. Yeah, no, that was a that was a heavy episode. 